The Cheese Boy 628 Show, starring Cheese Boy 628. Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Cheeseboy628 here today giving you an OU tier Wi-Fi battle. To be specific, this is round one of the Token Minorities Tournament. I did make it through with the pool battles. There were a couple other battles I had, but they weren't as good. I gave you the highlights of the pool battle session, and now here is round one. By now, you guys are probably pretty familiar with my team, so just getting to my opponent's team, I see he has a Firewater Grass core of some starters, which is pretty cool. He seems to have a defensive core of Don Fan and Umbreon. Now his team is also somewhat fast based with Sceptile and Typlosion. Typlosion could be Scarf or Alligator is the only Pokemon I see that can actually set up with a DD and get like a speed boost from setting up so I should be kind of worried about that. But overall I'm not really too worried so let's see how this battle goes. So I'm going to start on my Rotom Wash. As always it is a great scout and he's actually going to start out with his Raikou. Now I don't know what kind it is of course first turn. I guess I will find out. Seen as he has Volt Switch, I'm not worried that it's going to be the Calm Mind variant, but it turns out he does have a Life Orb, so I now kind of understand it's set. So I'm just going to go for the Hydro Pump right off the bat in case he tries to get a sub up. I don't want that, but he does just go into his Umbreon, his special wall. Now I can easily go for the Volt Switch, and I can bring in anything I really wish. I could bring in my Heat trying to get up my rocks right now, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. He does have a Spinner being Dawn Fan, but now it puts pressure on him to spin in order to save his Typlosion a little bit. But he is going to go into Dawn Fan, predicting my Stealth Rock, so pretty decent play. I will outspeed if I really want to go for a Lava Blue and Burn, but I'm not going to risk that EQ right now. I've got a Rotom Wash, and it's going to dodge that Earthquake quite easily. Now I can easily press Willow or Hydro Pump. Willow's probably the safer play here because no matter what, it will break his Sturdy. If he brings in something, I can get some status on it. But I end up going for the Hydro Pump, which is still not a bad play because it would bring Don Fan down to its Sturdy. And in this case, in the case that I went for the Willow and landed it on Umbreon, I would get the Burn onto me because of synchronize so in the end it was probably better for me although he's able to possibly get wish covering now and that's exactly what he's going to do he's going to go for the wish as he bring in my b sharp here and he kind of makes an interesting play i honestly wasn't expecting him to go for the protect here since i can't really do too much to him without a swords dance but he goes for the protect anyway and now that he goes for wish again i can press swords dance and now i'm plus two i'm a b sharp i'm adamant I'm going for the knockoff so I can eliminate his lefties, and he's going to go for the foul play. That does a ton of damage, oh my gosh. B-sharp is bulky, and it resists it, but yeah, I'm going to have to go for the iron hand here. Hope to take it out. Not going to be the case, but I do flinch him. So it's definitely unfortunate for him, because he definitely would have been able to take me out with the foul play, and that's no doubt what he was probably going to go for. Because now I'm also able to bring this Don fan down pretty darn low, if not take him out with this plus two sucker punch because I know he has the Ice Shard, so I don't want to go for the knockoff. Turns out he has Rocky Helmet, so that's kind of interesting, because that way, he'll never get back to Sturdy with the Rocky Helmet. I guess it's just his physical wall in general. Nonetheless, I am going to be able to bring in my Metacham here. Just going to go for the Fake Out, that way I don't take any extra damage on that Ice Shard, and he is going to go down. So his Umbreon is still alive with a little bit, I'm going to have to worry about that a little bit later if he does ever get a chance to wish up. I feel like that's not going to be the case, though. But now he brings in this Typhlosion, and I'm thinking, you know what? I've got a pretty darn good counter being my special defensive heat train. If he goes for the Focus Blast, great play, but that is not what he does. Just goes for the Fire Blast, gives me the Flash Fire Boost, and now I really have no reason not to press Lava Plume. Sure, he has a Fur Alligator, but if I burn that thing, I am pretty much set. But I do not, and I don't know what kind of set it is because I don't see lefties, and he's actually going to go for the EQ. Now I bring my Rotom in, and it's pretty safe for me to just press Volt Switch here. So he is going to switch out, and he's actually going to go into Sceptile, which of course walls my dual stab, so it's a decent play. Although Sceptile is relatively frail, so any damage it takes is not going to be nice for him. He's at about 3 quarters of health now, and real with the combination of Fake Out and Bullet Punch, he probably could be able to take him out. But there's no reason for me not to go into Age Slash right now, because I wall Sceptile's special set, and if he's physical and doesn't carry EQ, I'm set, and I can still live in EQ easily since I'm max HP. I can easily press Shadow Ball, and nothing wants to to take it so he is going to fodder off his Typlosion that is the best play for him and now it's going to go in his Raikou and I know that I can just press King Shield here and I really would rather do that because that way I can actually take a T-Bolt and that will be plenty fine by me because I'm pretty sure in my sword form I'm not going to be able to take it and this this is a misclick <laughs> I honestly did not mean to do this 
this is not what I intended. I meant to go for Shadow Ball, and you know I have two Shadow moves. This is like one of my only misclicks on Wi-Fi, and of course, uh, gosh, why? <laughs> But nonetheless, it's kind of funny because I still live at max HP to a life orb table, and then I take him out anyway, which is cool, but I would have definitely had a lot more health if I didn't freaking misclick. There's no reason I should have did that. I don't I don't know. Anyway, moving on, against this for alligator, I go for the fake out and I do get a crit. Now I don't think this mattered because the crit damage is at least the amount of damage from the fake out and the bullet punch combined, unless you count like min max. So in that case, maybe it mattered. I'm honestly not sure, but here he's able to crit me with a leaf blade. And I think that probably mattered, so I think it evens out. And he goes for the sword dance here. Kind of interesting. I mean, I have the sludge wave, so no matter what, he is going to go down here. And that was really his last chance in the case that I didn't have something to super effectively hit a septile. And that will be the game. So great game, Zion. That does put me in round two, and you guys will find out how that goes next week. So with that said, thank you all for watching. Like, comment, sub, and until later, peace.